Hi friends. What's up my girls, my guys, my dudes, my friends, my peeps. Happy Sunday to you. I'm a little dark here just because there's not a lot of light happening yet because it's still morning time. Um, but, and I'm looking great. I just went for a jog. And quite honestly, when I was doing my jog, I was listening to music and then I was thinking about this. Somehow all of these thoughts came into my mind. And um, I know there's some new friends that have just joined our little group here, our team, people you have sponsored, um, people I have sponsored, people who have been sponsored for a while and just want some guidance and all the things. So anywho, if you don't know me, I'm Robin and it's nice to meet you. I am, oh my gosh, this sounds kind of fun to say it like this, the founder of Be The Starlight. Um, and whew, I'm tired, but I did it. Um, we were just on vacation for the last week. We went to Ocean Isle had a great time. Um, whew, tired. Hold on. Um, had a great time, but I'm back and I'm ready to rock this. And as I was doing my little jog, I was thinking of just like, for some reason, the number one most important thing to have a successful Scentsy business came to mind. And I was, it was just all these thoughts were going on in my head. And I'm like, you know what? That's, that's good stuff, Robin. And you need to share this. So I know a lot of you are probably sleeping still. I hope somebody watches this and takes advantage of my chit chat here. Um, if you do end up watching this later, when you wake up, let me know. Um, part of my yawning again, I just ran a mile and a half just to get my life going here. So anywho, um, when it comes down to the number one, number one most important thing to have a successful Sensi business, it is one simple word, okay? And um, there's several things like sub points that go into this simple word, but the number one most important thing that you can do if you want a successful Sensi business, no matter if that's a big business, it's a small business, if it's a little bit income producing, if it's a lot of bit income producing, the number one most important thing that you need to do is stay consistent. Okay, and I'm not just saying consistent in one way, I'm saying consistent in all of the things that actually matter, okay? So if there is a word that you remember from Robin to Manny teaching you of what is important, it is to be consistent, okay? Now, I have several sub, sub points here, okay? <clears throat> and when I think of being consistent, a lot of people, um, think that that just means post on Facebook in your group, okay? That is one single aspect of it, okay? Um, but there's about seven other things that I, I want you to know that if I were to say, like, what are the important things to stay consistent with, then this is, this is what it all kind of boils down to. So, anywho, I hope this is helpful to somebody, but my friends who plan to sponsor friends, um, the best thing that you can teach your friends and, and, and how you coach them and, and to guide them is to stay consistent, but remind them to be consistent in the right ways. Not the fluff crap that doesn't matter, but more so doing the right things. We are all only one human and we cannot do all of the things. So like, why would anybody in their right mind do the things that don't really matter? And by matter, I mean like they're fun, they're cute, they're whatever, but like, if you're going to put your energy towards something, put your energy towards like the stuff that matters. Okay. The stuff that becomes income producing, that becomes helpful to your business to grow, to get a customer, to find customers, whatever. Okay. So when I say be consistent, um, I'm, I'm going to add to that sentence, be consistent by doing the right things. Okay. So whenever I bring it down to what are those right things behind the scenes on Facebook, because I utilize, like many of you, I utilize Facebook to help me grow a business, okay? Before this, I had no freaking clue what any of that even meant. Just being real with you. But I will say this. Um, behind the scenes, I do a lot more than just post on a Facebook group and take a cute little selfie with a wax bar, okay? But to people, that's kind of what it seems like. But I'm just being very straightforward with you. That's not all that I'm doing behind the scenes to be consistent, okay? Um, if you do plan to use a Facebook group, then yes, you need to stay consistent with it because your Facebook group becomes like your um, storefront. It's like your storefront. And if the open sign is off, all right, it's off, 
then like it meaning you don't share in it every day then they assume the open side's off and like oh it's dead group no that's nothing to even look for Stay consistent there okay friends who sponsor people remind them to stay consistent you can't force somebody to be consistent but you can tell them if they want to be successful with this then that's what they need to do okay um the second most important thing that you need to do that actually matters when you're being consistent is be consistent with engaging with people Okay, and these can be people that you are super good friends with. This could be people that you just met from a party you did on Facebook and now you've added them as a friend. By the way, every person that will engage slightly with me whenever they join a Facebook group for a party and I send a message and I, I tipped, I tipped and I send a message to every person that joins a Facebook group party and I say, hi, I'm Robin. I just wanted to say hi. So it didn't seem like some weirdo posting in a group. Thanks for joining it. How do you know? Blah, blah, blah. And if they respond to me, then you better believe I'm going to go click add as a friend. And even if they don't buy something like right then and there from this party and they accept my friend request because I utilize my Facebook and I'll get to this in a minute, but I utilize my personal Facebook to show who I am, my authentic Robin to Manny self, the goofy parts, the crazy parts, the parts that are like serious, my family, my love of Sensi, I do all of that consistently. Then they get to know me and then I can engage with them. So it could be someone random you've never really met, but I had one convo with. It could be an old friend from high school. It could be an old coworker. It could be a person that is just a friend on Facebook. You agree that their dog is cute. I am always not mindlessly scrolling through my phone. Anytime I'm on my phone, I'm trying to engage with someone by either hitting like or commenting something. And it do not make it the same five people all the time. Okay, go through your friends list and be like, oh, what's this person up to? Oh, cool, like, talk, blah, 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 blah. If you engage with them, they'll more likely to want to see what you're up to, okay? So whenever I say, um, like, like engage with people, nurture, new friendships nurture those friendships make to make a friend you have to be a friend okay so go be friendly to people um all right number three thing that you need to be most consistent with okay because this is all about being consistent the things that matter posting in your facebook on your facebook and in your group that doesn't mean you post on your facebook 24 7 only sensey things people don't want to just be sold to they want to see you in your life okay um engage with people nurture friendship number three thing to do consistently and this one is tough in the summer months i'm just going to be very straightforward with you the j months in every business okay the j months in every business january june and july are always difficult for every business, okay? And it makes complete sense because, oops, sorry, hold on friends. Um, it makes total sense because like people are busy in these J months. I have like three different places I'm gonna be going to over the next um, several weeks and stuff. And so like, just be mindful of oh, my phone's falling. Shoot, okay, hold on. Just be mindful it's not you. I mean, it could be you if you're not consistent, but like, um, it, it, it's just the world we're living in right now. J months are tough, but that doesn't mean impossible. So the number three thing I'm gonna say that it is incredibly important to be consistent with is having parties, okay? Parties can look a bunch of different ways. That's a whole separate training for a different like point. But my point is, is that parties are not dead. Parties will solve all of your PRV problems and your new customer problems and all of that, partying is the answer to everything. Now, if you're like, nobody wants to party, I will totally argue with you about that. Not as many people want to party. That's a better way to reframe it. Not as many people want to party here in June. If you go and you've done this for a little while now, you have contacts. I'm looking at my Sensi's dashboard here. I have over 859 contacts of people who have purchased Sensi from me that I have actually uploaded into this. That's 859 possible people to have a party. Will they all say yes? No. But if you keep asking the same 20 people that watch Facebook, and that's it, who are on your Facebook group that actually follow along, then yeah, then you're gonna be more likely to get a no. 
Um, but partying will solve all your problems. I had one, two, three, three parties this month and one of them was successful and the other one got me a new customer, so I'm not going to cry, okay? Anywho, the parties aren't dead. They're just a little tougher to get in the spring, summer, okay? Um, number four most important thing. This kind of goes with um, following up and staying connected. The most important thing that you can remember to do for yourself is to stay connected to your current customers. It's a lot easier to keep a customer than it is to go try to find new ones. I would much rather treat the 859 people really well and make a friendship out of those 859 people than try to um, go try to find 859 new people. It's taken four years to get 859 people, almost a thousand customers, okay? But if you can stay connected with them, okay, now you're probably like, okay, well, how do you stay connected? Well, number one, social media is incredibly easy to stay connected with people. And so make a point, if, it, if this is what helps you, like make a point to go through my contact list and um, like type in Amy so-and-so, okay? And go in their Facebook if they have one and, and see what Amy so-and-so is doing on Facebook and then go reconnect with them. Send them a Facebook message. Um, go see, oh, they just went on vacay. Send them a personal message. Hey, I hope that your vacay went well. How did you like it? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And that's it. One connection. Boom. Now they remember you. Okay. Um, but just stay connected. Another incredibly important thing to do is to follow up with people. One of my personal ways to do this, and it may not be the best, is to go to my order history. I'm looking up here just to remember. Um, go through my order history. And then I go back and I go to and I set the parameters. I'm like, okay, start date from March to June. Let's go and follow up, with, especially with these people whose orders have shipped, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Catherine, um, I really hope that you are enjoying your wax. What was your favorite from the list? Was it Make a Splash, Coastal Sunset, Bonfire Beach? Ask a question. They'll be more likely to engage with you. Cool. Well, I have a special going on for, I'm making up this combo. I have a special going on for shipping. If you need any refills, please let me know. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you followed up. Um, another way that I follow up is um, I use Project Broadcast, which is a paid subscription, which is a business expense for me. And I cannot mentally figure out a way to remember to follow up with 800 some people every day, okay? Uh, so what I will do is I will put all of these phone numbers and emails and whatnot into Project Broadcast and then I will follow up with them and I'll send one general message. Hey, hope you're enjoying your Scentsy stuff. If um, I have a personal special for wax, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to detail the details and the whoever wants them? But I'm following up. A free way to do this, send an email from your workstation. You're all let literate to be tech literate and to figure out how to send an email. And if you're not, then ask your sponsor, hey, how do I do that? Um, or ask me if I'm your sponsor, especially, and I can show you. It's quite easy. I can literally do a quick little video with my phone turned around and show you how do you send an email. Um, but that's a good way to communicate with those 800 people or 200 people or 100 people that you have in your system. Like, don't let these people forget about you. Okay, um, the last two things, no, last three things that I will say um, that are incredibly important. So let me recap. Consistency. No, don't let her in here because there's everything everywhere. Okay. Um, consistency. What does consistency mean? Okay. Consistently doing the things that matter. Things that matter. Number one, post on your personal Facebook does not, and actually I highly recommend not only posting Sensi related stuff on your personal Facebook. Do like 75% life and you and 25% Sensi. That's the ratio I would do. 75% you, something funny, something meaningful, your family, something about you, a quote, an engaging thing, and then 25% Sensi. The moment you start doing more than 25% Sensi is like, overkill okay number two engage and engage and nurture friendships that is something that you need to do consistently that matters party okay to get your prv 
Because if you don't have PRV, you're not getting new customers. You're not getting new customers. Your bucket is running dry and you're not going to have any sales. Okay. Number four, staying connected with these current customers and following up. Number five, consistently, consistently, every nearing the end of every month, like right now, I'm starting to think about July. I know that I'm not in July, but I'm starting to think about, okay, Robin, what is your plan for July? My plan for July is I don't know yet, but I'm going to figure it out. But my point is consistently around the 20th to 25th of every month, start coming up with a PRV plan for the next month. You do not want to be on July 2nd and being like, I have no parties booked. I have no events ready. I have no plan. I have no personal specials I'm going to try to do. I have no, uh, any idea what I'm doing. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Cause if you fail to plan, then it's not going to work. Okay. Do all of my plans work? No, but I at least have a plan and I do not put all of my eggs in one basket. I have like four baskets. I'm like, okay, let's try this, 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 and this. Maybe something will work. And sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But you know, I'd be a lot more angry at myself. I'd be a lot more angry at myself if I failed to plan than had a plan that I tried really hard with that failed. Okay. Um, number six, it kind of goes with partying, but it's meeting new people. That is something you really oh, yeah. want to be like super consistent about that can look a lot of different ways that could be going to Facebook and doing the whole like add a friend that you have 17 people in common say hi Emmy say hi Holly Holly bug um you have 17 friends in common okay add you as a friend and if you're managing your own personal Facebook profile in a way that's 75% you, your life, and what you stand for, and 25% Scentsy sprinkled in, then they're going to see, oh, she does Scentsy. But, like, she's also a mom and a teacher, and she has anxiety, and she likes dogs, and she likes being outside, and she likes drinking White Claws. Oh, she's my type of friend, okay? They'll be more likely to connect with you. Number seven. On your personal Facebook page, consistently showing what you want to attract, okay? Emily, take those in your room or something, because I'm talking. It's loud, okay? Okay, um, util consistently utilizing, this goes right along with it, consistently utilizing your Facebook page to show who you are and what you want to attract, okay? It's called attraction marketing. That means instead of me being like flyer, six pack of wax, flyer, six pack of wax. Look at this warmer. It's $20. Um, look at this car bar. It's the best smell ever. It's $6. Who wants one? I try to not do that very often. Okay. But utilizing your personal Facebook page to show what you want to attract. If I scroll through my personal Facebook page, Okay, and you, I'm going to do this now. My cover photo is my family. There you go. Um, I have a shout out to a friend who just joined us. Okay, so I'm showing people that I'm helping people. Um, I got a really cool email from Sensi, so I sprinkled Where's some Sensi in. Where's Chip? Uh, I don't know. Oh, goodness. She's okay. Out. She's out okay, hold on, friends. Minor emergency. All right, go. We'll go. All right, hold friends. Oh, she's fine. Okay, we'll get her um in the playroom. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, if I scroll through, oh my legs. If I scroll through my personal Facebook. I have shown that I'm a family person. Um, I show that I like the beach. I show, and you can look through my Facebook too. Look how I am sprinkling in my life. Beach pictures, um, my star crate, my Nathan being insane. Um, I do fundraisers. Look, there's a quote. I took a picture as if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Uh, an engagement thing. Um... My laundry basket, me drinking some white claws, my dad is important to me, my husband is important to me, I love the beach, uh, I want to always 
like include people, okay? My Nathan being goofy, did I mention Nana it's goofy? <laughs> um, surround people with people who fight for you in rooms that you're not. Like you can go through and see what I enjoy, okay? And that's that's literally like me, and that's what I try to do, okay? Um, last thing to be consistent with, and this is like seven or eight things. I really hope somebody watches this because I'm really, this is, this is it, friends. This is what really, really matters. Um, number eight, consistently share. Consistently share how Sensi blesses you. Be a problem solver for people without being like, I can solve your problem, okay? Be a problem solver for people. Share how Sensi blesses you. It does not have to be some insane, and I call Hawaii a little insane because some people look at me like I could never do that. And I know people think that, even though I, I know they can, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be big, 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 okay? It doesn't have to be you quitting your full-time job to do this. It doesn't say it mean like you're a millionaire. If Sensi blesses you because you were able to go buy groceries, be like, groceries are freaking expensive. Thank God for Sensi with your little Sensi pay card without like showing the numbers. Uh, if Sensi allows you some friend time to go get your nails done with your friend, share that because there are a million people out there watching you that are wishing they could do those things, that they're wishing that they could go buy the name brand freaking coffee creamer <laughs> i don't know i instead of the kroger brand because it's three dollars less okay there are millions of people out there who are looking and saying dang her nails look great but like her nails look great dang i wish i could do that well you know they see on there that since he could solve that little problem for them then they will be more interested in hearing what you have to say and watching you, okay? I'm not saying every day you need to do that, but I'm saying make it a regular thing. Be authentic, be real, be you, and stay consistent. That's it. That is the icing on top of the cake. That is the cherry on top of the sundae. That is the secret. Consistently doing the right things sharing in a group if you use one, and sharing on Facebook who you are, what you stand for, and sprinkle in Scentsy. Consistently engaging and nurturing friendships with people so that they know, feel like they, so they can feel like they know, like, and can trust you. Number three, party. Number four, stay connected with those customers and follow up. Number five, don't go into a new month without a PRV plan. Number six, figure out ways to meet new people. Number seven, show what you want to attract. And number eight, share how this blesses you. That's it, my friends. All right, I'm signing off. I hope somebody watches this and I hope you have a great Sunday. See ya.